And uh, CBS News is making a new projection for the state of Ohio. And we'll have that up for you here in just a moment. And there is the state of Ohio. CBS News is projecting that once all the votes are counted, Donald Trump will win Ohio. Now this keeps his hopes alive. Ohio was a very important state for him to win. He needs to win Ohio. He needs to win Florida. Right now, Florida is too close to make an estimate, but Donald Trump is leading in the vote. Uh, and uh, there's the electoral vote count right now. Hillary Clinton, 122, Donald Trump, 168. John, uh, what does Ohio mean? Well, uh, Ohio was one of those states. They're falling into the traditional patterns. Well, Ohio is a state that Donald Trump is gonna, had a chance to do well in because there was a big portion of the electorate that was non-college educated voters. There's a low portion of the electorate that was minority. And so that was a state, if people were to put it on a list, Ohio would be one that might go in the, the Trump category. It did. Virginia, a more diverse electorate, also with a larger share of college educated voters, that has gone to Hillary Clinton. So those are ones that have sorted in a way that we would have expected before tonight, which is a, a change since so much has happened tonight that's been unexpected. But it's also a state where Hillary Clinton pulled out all the stops in terms of star power that she brought to Ohio. I mean, it, it shows you that celebrity endorsement don't necessarily mean victory on election day very that, clearly that's for sure unless you're a celebrity yourself in donald trump's case and <laughs> yes. that seems to have <laughs> yes. helped him it's certainly working in the state him. of ohio yes. this yeah. is going to be a very close election because if donald trump goes on to win florida that will mean he has won two of the big battleground states hillary clinton can still win if she wins pennsylvania but this one's going right down to the wire. In fact, I spoke with a top Clinton campaign official when I asked about what's going on in the state of Florida because they had boasted to me earlier in the night that they felt very strong because they had banked a lot of early votes. And at this hour, we have an edging Republican in Florida, edging, to be clear. This top Clinton official telling me it's very tight in Florida, but we can afford to lose it as long as we get Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, and Nevada. And Michigan becomes even more important now. Great point. DeMarco Morgan is with Anthony Salvanto over at our decision desk. And to tell us a little bit about uh, why we made these estimates, Trump for Ohio and Hillary Clinton in Virginia. All right, Scott, let's go ahead and start with Ohio right now. Hillary Clinton was heavily counting on the African-American vote. Looks like it didn't work in her favor. How did Trump win and walk away with this state? Uh, because it wasn't enough, DeMarco, because I'm going to point you to a story of a couple of counties down here around Canton. Now, all through this campaign, we've been talking about those blue-collar voters that might go for Donald Trump, that might respond to his message. It's clear that they did, because there are counties here around Canton, Mahoning County, uh, Stark County, where he has outperformed what Republicans typically do and actually exceeded what is typical, even the best of times, for a Republican. Maybe they break even there, but he's up 56-40. He's up 53-42 in those places. That's a big reason he wins Ohio. Now, before we move on to the other states, is it safe to call this a surprise tonight? Well, he was up marginally in our polling coming into this, uh, but he had to get this pattern in order to actually pull it off, and he did. So in that sense, our pre-election poll will Looks like it was pretty much right. Okay, before we talk about Virginia, let's go to Florida. Still too close to call. Yeah, Why? yeah. Florida is an interesting case because we're still counting how many ballots there are, not just who is up. So, as we've been saying all night, we're being we've been looking through all these counties around Orlando, around Tampa, places that Republicans usually do well, but he's doing exceptionally well. And the last thing I'll point you to, Demarco, I want to take you to Virginia, which we also projected for Hillary Clinton, and here, here she's gotten. So enough turnout around these D.C. suburbs, even though all the votes aren't counted there yet, that's her area. And so when all the votes come in, we can expect that she'd be able to carry the state. But this is much, much closer than the pre-election polling ever expected. Are you surprised that we haven't called to North Carolina yet? No, that one looked razor tight going in, and it still is. Long night? Maybe. All right. <laughs> let's go to send it back to Scott and Nora. All right, DeMarco, thank you so much.